Does Idaho grow potatoes? Yes. Yes, it does. Tad bit better TV. Hey, Julian, I'm Trenton, and it's time for another video. So, a quick aside, I'm still building the audience for this channel, so as of now, I don't know, but I'm guessing a lot of the people watching are Christians, and maybe a lot of the people watching are not Christians. Either way, welcome. Hi, how are you? You are loved. But sometimes, it feels like we're not loved, right? Like, I know you might have a really bad day. I know you might have really tough decisions to make. This is called life. But what do we do? We think about these things and we refuse to let them lead us into unhealthy behaviors or sin. One way to do this is to meet with people who believe what you believe. And in the world of Christianity, we call them small groups. My old church, Church of the Highlands, had small groups for everything. There was a singles group, hey ooh, bowling group, folding group, tennis group, Dennis the Menace group. Okay, maybe not all of those, but they did have a small group for almost everything. The idea wasn't just to read the Bible, although Bible study groups are bomb. The idea was to do life together. And it's one thing to have a friend group, which, yeah, is partially the same thing. But it's a whole other thing to have a group that consistently meets and holds each other accountable specifically with what they believe in. I wouldn't be anywhere without my small groups I've been in over the years. Some of them last years and some of them just for a specific purpose for a little while. But either way, yes, I say the answer is yes, you should join a small group. And check out this other video that I think will make your day a tad bit better. Tad bit better TV.